All right, all right. So yeah, we're on another midnight mission. This is midnight mission number four. We're here in Quebec and we're in a place called Kanawaki or uh, otherwise known as Kagnawaga. And uh, yeah, so we were here at the powwow. It's the first powwow in three years because of COVID and everything. And yeah, it was great. It was over here at the island and the island is called the Kateri Takakwita Island. Uh, this is uh, right across the bay here. And this island here is a man-made island. There used to be small, uh, small three little islands here, but uh, many years ago they were, they were making a canal and they, uh, they dredged up part of the St. Lawrence and they, and they made uh, one big giant island. And uh, yeah, so now that's the site of the, uh, of the powwow since the early 90s. Yeah. All right, we're on the bridge here. This is going over to the island. This was full of cars about uh, all weekend, uh, Saturday and Sunday. And uh, now, uh, now it's pretty quiet. Uh, most of the vendors and everybody and the dancers and everybody have gone home. And now this island it's pretty vacant. Uh, as you can see, the moon is out. It's gonna be nice and bright down by the beach. All right, there's the lifeguard stand at the beach. And we have the moon up here. And in the morning, the sun will be rising right over here, directly onto the beach. Probably around 5.30ish, we should uh, see a nice sunrise there. Right beside the beach here, they got uh, some picnic tables, some barbecues. Pretty nice little spot to chill during the day with your family. And then take the kids out swimming. Or go swimming yourself, whatever you like. There's quite a few mosquitoes out tonight. I don't know if you can see them flying around all over me here, but uh, I'm definitely gonna have to get inside my bivy in the next few minutes. Unless I jump in the water, but uh, we'll see. Just getting the bivy set up here. Gotta keep the lights down low because we got some traffic across the way. Lots of mosquitoes. Gotta do this quick. All right, we're in the bivy. We're just on the uh, grassy part right beside the beach. Um, right now, I have just the mesh netting uh, closed and the uh, so I'll have a nice view of the sunrise in the morning I don't know if you can see all these mosquitoes flying around just outside the mesh but there's probably about a million as I was uh, putting the bivy together I probably got about uh, 50 bites usually I'm not uh, I don't get too many bites but yeah there's a lot of them out here uh, they were just attacking my ankles. I don't have any uh, any socks on, so they got me good. Yeah, just here in the bivy. Um, pretty comfortable. Nice cool breeze. The bug nets up, so we're not getting any mosquito bites anymore. And uh, yeah, gonna have a nice sleep here, right by the beach sunrise in the morning on the Katari Takakwita Island in Kanawaki. 
Yeah, I don't know. But I think somehow there's some other mosquitoes. There's some mosquitoes getting in here somehow. They've infiltrated the bivy. So I'm gonna have to do some investigation into this uh, mosquito incident because I've seen at least three flying around here. I got them, but yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out where they're coming from. Stay tuned. So across the bay, there's like a little uh, harbor front park and bicycle trail. And right across from there is a street uh, with some houses along the other side there. Uh, where I stayed the other night, it's actually used to be called Sesame Street. But now it's uh, Kirby, Kirby Road. But yeah, it was... Uh, I was looking for my way. I was trying to find my way. I was really trying to find my way to Sesame Street. But yeah, couldn't find it. But we did end up on Kirby Road. Actually, they also call it Mohawk Beach Road uh, on my Maps Me. So Mohawk Beach Road or Kirby Road, AKA Sesame Street. All right. So it looks like we've eradicated every single mosquito in here. I've looked for any kinds of uh, entry points. Uh, I don't see any, so I think we should be good. Maybe they were all just hanging down by my feet for a while and they flew up here. Whoa, whoa, one just flew by. So, so much for that. Uh, it's about 11 o'clock at night. I'm gonna see if I can get that last mosquito. Oh, I think, oh, there he is, there he is, he's here. He's flying around, there he goes. We're gonna get him. We just wait quietly and we'll get him. So yeah, I may or may not have eradicated the last mosquito. Anyways, I just wanted to, uh, you know, take some time to tell you how thankful I am to be here in Kanawaki, Kagnawaga. And I uh, was thankful to come to the powwow to see some relatives I haven't seen in a long time, uh, to spend some time with my my mom, my uncle, and my, my a couple uncles, uh, some cousins, and uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, got to see the dancers. Uh, yeah, you'll see a video of that. One of the other things I'm thankful for is the uh, cornbread, the steak, the Indian tacos down here at the powwow. Mmm, that was filling my belly. Some nice fried bread. And uh, yeah. It was good times. The lineup was not too long at the one place I went to down here uh, that were serving up the Indian tacos and the, and I got a couple extra pieces of fry bread. It's uh, very delicious and some strawberry drinks. Yeah, that was great too.
this up for a pee. There's the bivy. Right by the bay. Nice view. There's the beach. So it's uh, 5 a.m. It's Monday morning. Just here in uh, Kagnawaga, Kanawaki. Um, it's uh, just after the weekend of the powwow here, 2022. And uh, yeah, sun's coming up. A little overcast, but. It's, uh, it's a very nice day. The birds are chirping. We have the northern cardinals and the robins. They're uh, giving me their music. <whistles> Something like that. And uh, some seagulls flying overhead. All the mosquitoes are gone now. So yeah, it's ready to start another beautiful week. Just up the canal is the uh, the train bridge. It's, uh, the train bridge has a hydraulic lift to allow the boats go through the canal. That train bridge is uh, a cool bridge if you want to jump off. I think it's probably about 45, 40, 45 feet up. When they raise the bridge, it probably goes up to, I don't know, about 60 feet. So just walking around here on the island, taking a little stroll, reading the fresh air, listening to the birds chirping. And uh, yeah, just gonna see if there's any more, let's see if there's, if everybody's gone because uh, uh, all the vendors and stuff were closing down last night but uh, let's just see what's left over here should be pretty much empty now so the when I came to this to, to the island and I saw the name of the island it really struck a bell because uh, the name Katari Takakwita is the name of uh, the first Mohawk saint. And the reason I knew that even wasn't uh, because my relatives told me or anything like that. It was from a book that I'd read uh, last year. A, Leonard Cohen, a book by Leonard Cohen, his uh, second book, uh, Beautiful Losers. And uh, yeah, he talked quite extensively about uh, Kateri. And uh, yeah, and speaking of islands, he wrote that book while he was on a island, uh, you know, an uh, island called uh, Hydra, I believe, which is, you know, like a Greek island. Uh, I believe that's, uh, it's just uh, off of Greece. Yeah, so it looks like there's still a few uh, stragglers here. There's some uh, trailers and mobile homes and uh, Let's go take a look. Still got some of the uh, canopies and tents.
Oh wow, if I had known that the, uh, the mini longhouse uh, was still here, I would have slept in there. Yeah, so uh, I believe uh, every uh, powwow someone builds this little mini longhouse. Maybe to demonstrate their building skills. And uh, looks pretty cool, eh? Yeah, look, it's got uh, enough room for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. At least eight people could fit in here. Eh? It's pretty sweet. So, another successful uh, midnight mission. And this time, didn't have to worry about the police. It was the, over here we got the peacekeepers. Uh, just gotta keep an eye out for, or I guess they gotta keep an eye out for me. Something like that. But uh, yeah, overall success. Oh, there's the beach, hold on, let's take a look. So it looks like there's a little bit of uh, restoration going on here. I think they're dredging the pond or the, 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 the bay and they'll uh, use that to fill in some of the land on the, the island or to use it as uh, compost or something like this. Oh baby. And over there, this is, so this is the canal. This is where the ships come through. And then just on the other side, uh, over there is the, uh, the St. Lawrence River. And uh, you can kind of see, you can see Montreal over there as well in the distance. Right across would be La Salle. Montreal would be over that way, kind of towards the where the sun's coming up. All right. So this is the uh, the end of our midnight mission. Echoes of a proud nation powwow. That was the name of the powwow. And uh, this was actually the entrance gate. There was a lineup all the way down there. But luckily uh, we had some uh, Some tickets, pre 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 sale tickets, or complimentary tickets, whatever you call them. Thanks to the